Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate Airtable with Google Docs. This integration can help you keep your data organized and easily accessible in one place. So let's start. First, you'll need to have an Airtable account and a Google account. Once you have those set up, go to your Airtable base and click on your profile icon at the top right corner of the page. In this menu, click on Integrations, then connect new account. Here, you can see several applications that you can integrate with Airtable. Look for Google Docs and click on it. Here, sign into your Google account and allow access by clicking Continue. After that, your Airtable account will now be integrated to your Google Docs account. Another way of doing this integration is by using Zapier. Go to zapier.com and log into your account. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free. Once you're logged in, click on this Create Zap button in the top left corner of the screen. Here, first change the name of the Zap. I'll name it Airtable with Google Docs. Next, search for Airtable as your trigger app and select the trigger that you want to use. For example, you can choose New Record. This means that every time a new record is added to the table, it will trigger the integration. After that, click on Continue. Here, connect your Airtable account and select the base and table that you want to use. Then click on Continue. After that, test your trigger to confirm that the right account is connected and that your trigger is set up correctly. Once the record was found, click Continue to proceed. Now, let's move on to Google Docs. Search for Google Docs and select the action that you want to use. For example, you can choose Create Document from Text. This means that every time a new record is created in Airtable, Zapier will automatically create a new document in Google Docs. After that, click on Continue. Here, you'll need to connect your Google account to Zapier as well. Once you have connected your Google account, Zapier will ask you to set up the action. Simply click on the fields and select the appropriate data from Airtable. Once you're done, test the Zap to make sure it is working properly. If it is, you can now publish the Zap and turn it on. Then start automating your workflow. So that's it. If you wanted to know how to integrate Airtable with Google Docs, that is the easiest way I know how. I hope you find this video helpful and if you do, kindly give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and see you on the next video.